Hello everyone, so patch 7.1.5 has just come out, and with it a bunch of changes to classes have happened, and of course Brawler's Guild has also opened, but one thing that's also changed is the drop rate of Curious Coins. Now, these coins used to be pretty damn rare. I myself on my main character only had a round 8 or 9, and that's from playing from the very start of the expansion. So, in my own experience since patch 7.1.5 released, I've seen a few coin drops, mostly from emissaries and dungeons. It's honestly pretty good to actually see them drop like this, and honestly they should have been like this from the very start. So with curious coins more available, it's probably worth going over all of the items that you can get in exchange for them. In Dalaran there is a vendor called Zur Ios, Zurios, I'm not really sure how you say his name. This guy is pretty much one big reference to the game Destiny and many of his items are also references. This vendor has two sets of items. The first set is five recipes, which are always available, which consists of a toy, three relics, and an engineering schematic that allows hunters to track down mechanical pets. The second set of items shift in and out of the vendor's inventory, and only one of them is buyable each day. In total, there are six rotating items. The first and most costly is the Arcadian War Turtle Mount that costs 150 Curious Coins. It's been pretty much impossible to get them out until the changes, but hopefully it will be within grasp a lot faster now. The next interesting item is a shoulder enchant called the Boon of the Nether. Now this enchant has not been seen in action yet, but my assumption is that it would be somewhat of a combination of all the other shoulder enchants. So one satchel could contain a mix of different materials, or perhaps the satchel itself is random to one of the other enchants. This item and the rest of the items excluding the mount cost 50 curious coins. Zur also sells a toy called the Moat of Light. This toy transforms you into an astral form similar to the Astral Cloud Serpent, in fact you can see what it looks like by fighting Elagon in the Mogushan Vaults raid. Now alongside that he also sells two open world use items which could be kind of useful in sticky situations. The first item is called Crota's Shield. This item absorbs up to a total of 10 million damage so if you're about to get destroyed then this item would definitely come in useful. The second is an item called the Galler's Horn. This item can cause up to nearly two and a half million damage to all enemies at the target's location so it could probably be used for farming mobs, but does however have an hourly cooldown. The last item that Zur sells is an item called the Ingram's Puzzle. This item has a weekly cooldown, and when used provides a random piece of equipment for your followers, so it's pretty much a weekly chance at getting the legendary follower equipment, plus anything else such as the time reduction bonuses. And that's pretty much all that Zur sells. Blizzard may add new stuff in later patches, which would actually be pretty damn cool. Your best bet at getting these coins is really just doing as many dungeons as you can. Emissaries, of course, are a great daily source, but it still falls under the RNG and dungeons are pretty easy at the moment if you are reasonably geared. It's hard to tell just how much coins will be dropping at the moment, but considering I've had a few from hardly doing anything this week, it's definitely a great deal quicker. But anyway guys, that's it for this video. Have you gotten many curious coins and are you interested in the items that you can buy with them? Let me know in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.